KTC just sent us a new monitor to try out. So let's play rock, paper, scissors to try and see who gets to keep it. Are you ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! No! Yo! I gotta keep it. Welcome back to Archetype Origins. My name is Jenny and today we're going to be talking about the KTC 34 inch ultra wide curved gaming monitor H34S18S. S18S? Alright, let's take a look at the spec sheet. Just kidding, it's a blank piece of paper. This is a 34 inch curved gaming monitor with a resolution of 3440 by 1440p and supports up to 165 hertz refresh rate. And all of this for an amazing price of $329.99. And right now as I'm recording this video, if you snip snip the coupon, you get $60 off. But if you want to know how you can get this monitor for free, KTC is sponsoring this video. So they've partnered with us to do a giveaway. So stick around till the end to figure out how we can get this monitor sent to you. Not this one, but the same one. We already talked a little bit about the display, but the monitor also comes with G-Sync and FreeSync capabilities, meaning while you're gaming, you can ensure that you have a tear-free experience. This is a VA panel with a contrast ratio of 4,000 to one, meaning that the blacks are gonna be blacker. Looks pretty black to me. And it also does support HDR, so you can get that really vibrant color. Yummy. Earlier we had mentioned that there's an up to 165 hertz refresh rate. So why is that? For this monitor, only the DP port supports up to 165 refresh rate. If for some reason you're still on the HDMI fam, then you're going to be capped at the 100 hertz refresh rate. If you have the option to use DP instead of HDMI, then you should probably be using your DP cable. If you don't have the option and you only can use an HDMI cable, then you'll just have to be okay with being capped at that 100 hertz refresh rate. Oh, I almost forgot. It also has one millisecond response time. Fast. Ports wise, there's two DP ports, two HDMI ports. It does have a USB port that's labeled as system updates. We were able to run lights off of them when we tested them, so they definitely can power things, but you definitely can't run your like peripherals like mouse and keyboard off of them. There is this nice little cable management thing that you can run your cables through, and all of this is concealed with this little plastic bit that goes on the back. Also on the back is the little cute RGB light, which is a nice add, but unfortunately you can only turn it on and off, so you can't set it to a specific setting. If you're really set on a themed color, this is might mess that up. So it just cycles through the RGB colors and you can't pick a color. Any questions? No? As you can see, Ben already got too excited and mounted it onto his monitor arm. So it is VESA compatible with um, the 100 by 100 millimeter VESA mount. If you don't want to use a monitor arm, that's super great too. It does come with its monitor stand. Super easy to set up. Just a couple of screws. And they did give me this nifty screwdriver thing, which I appreciated. I think it's kind of cute. Never seen one shaped like this. In addition to this little screwdriver, in the box they also do give the HDMI cable, DP cable, and the power adapter. Overall, the look and feel of the monitor is really nice. I would not expect it to be at this price point for what I'm looking at. I would expect it to cost more, which is good. Very good. I will say it is plastic, but most monitors are. It doesn't feel like aluminum or fancy like that, but it doesn't feel like cheap plastic either. So the build quality is pretty good. The screen is much better than I was expecting, so I'm very impressed with the screen. It does have that anti-glare, so we work in a room with a lot of windows. If you're working in a space that has a lot of light coming through, the anti-glare is super, super great for that. The curvature of the monitor is 1500R. So when you're looking at it, it's not like totally immersion, super curved, but it is very comfortable and has a lot of good viewing angles. So it's perfect for gaming. The 21 by nine aspect ratio is perfect for competitive and FPS gaming. Most game developers develop their games to be in that aspect ratio of 21 by nine. Usually when you start pushing above that if your monitor is wider than that is when you start seeing the black bars while you're playing games so if those bother you 21.9 21 by 9 is where you should be as you can see ben already did replace his 49 inch samsung odyssey g9 with the ktc monitor for a couple of reasons so three reasons firstly the g9 was just too fat 
also like screen to back. It was very thick and it's very heavy. We do use our sit stand features on our desk often. So the extra weight and extra bulk is just not necessary. And we already have this KTC monitor, which is much lighter and much thinner. So it kind of suits the setup and the way we use our desk a little bit better. Secondly is, as I mentioned earlier, the 21 by nine aspect ratio. Ben does play a lot of games that it doesn't support his 49 inch monitor. So the screen bars on the black, the side that are black, he doesn't like those. This way he gets rid of those. Extra bonus. And third one is an announcement that we're not announcing yet. So I'm just announcing the third one's gonna be an announcement. So stay tuned for that one. Instead of talking about those announcements, I'm gonna announce the way to sign up for our giveaway. <laughs> to sign up for the giveaway, there's a link in the description box below. You can click on that link. And from that link, there's three easy ways to submit your name. You can do all three if you want to enter your name three times. From the giveaway portal, it'll take you to our YouTube page. On our YouTube page, while you're there, you can check out a bunch of our most popular videos. And if you haven't already, select the subscribe button. Not required, but doesn't hurt. The second way is through Instagram. So you can go to our Instagram page and that will submit your name as a second entry for the drawing. The third way is a YouTube entry. So you can click there, submit your name, once for our YouTube landing page, once for Instagram, and then once just as a simple YouTube entry. So you can put your name in the pot three times. At the end of the drawing, we'll pull one lucky name out of the pot and then we'll email you with the instructions to claim your monitor. Yay. We hope to do a lot more giveaways like this in the future. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks for your support. Pew, 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 pew. Where's the bloopers? Wow. <laughs> Let's look at connectivity. It's really hard to face the camera and read this at the same time. Paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs>